Hey, thanks for watching Coffee with Pips. I do appreciate you stopping by and supporting my channel today. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite cereal, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. And get this, I found this whole bag of charms, just charms, the charms marshmallows. Now, you know, in the past, well, you know what? I'm going to tell you all about it right now. The Coffee with Pips Show America's favorite food in Naughty Dog Welcome, welcome to Coffee with Pips Show Okay, I couldn't wait to show you this. I got it yesterday. I was like so excited. Now Lucky Charms doesn't, um, they're always limited editions when they come out with uh, just the marshmallows. Every once in a while they'll come out with it. All the marshmallows that are in here are in here. It's so exciting because, look at this. Oh, this lovely scrumptious cereal. Now, you have some really great charms. See, look at all the different charms and, oh my God, that's what I used to do. I used to just, well, that's what I do do. Pick out all the cereal and just pick up the charms. Green clovers, blue moons, pink hearts, there's hearts, stars, moons, blue moons, uh, green clovers. Oh, my favorite, unicorns. Unicorns, everybody thinks I like unicorns and my whole office is decorated with the unicorns. I know that's stupid, but it does put me in a good mood. There we go. Hmm, now I'm happy. Thank you, unicorn. The red balloons. Oh, look at that. Bye, red balloon. So you have so many. And you know what? And they're not stingy with the marshmallows in Lucky Charms. But, oh, wait till you see this. Ugh. You know what? Let me tell you a little history first about Lucky Charms. First of all, I want to ask how everybody's doing. Are you doing okay? Do you have Lucky Charms in your house? You really need to have a treat once in a while. Treat yourself better than donuts. And you know how much I love donuts. You know what? You might remember uh, ways back that I did uh, the Orange Circus Peanuts. Ugh, everybody hates the Orange Circus Peanuts. They're okay. Actually, the, an executive from uh, General Mills was, is this General Mills? Actually, an executive from General Mills took those orange circus peanuts and cut them into little pieces, put them into like some cereal, just like this, a whole grain, beautiful, crunchy cereal. And he loved the taste. And Lucky Charms was born. The first appearance of Lucky Charms was 1964. Do you know what I just thought of? I had the Lucky Charms box upside down, so I guess that wasn't so lucky. Sorry about that. I was wondering, well, I'll put it here and hopefully I don't pick it up and all the cereal falls out and everything. But this is a real fast video. I just wanted to show you Lucky Charms. Get this, look at. Oh my God. Oh my God, Lucky Charms. I'm just... Oh, they are so good. Look at all those Lucky Charms. Uh-oh. Dropped a whole bunch on the floor here. Yes, Lucky Charms has been produced by General Mills from the very beginning. General Mills, the giant, has kept them all for themselves. Boy, are they lucky. Lucky for that executive. I hope he got a bonus. They didn't say anything about that. But now, what I want to show you is you have a bag of these Lucky Charms. Mix them with the cereal. You have very little cereal. 
and more Lucky Charms. This is so exciting. This is my lucky day, except for turning the box. Oh, watch it, you little whippersnapper. This little guy almost was replaced by a wizard. Some green, ugly wizard. They almost replaced my little Lucky Charm guy. Lucky they didn't do that. I might not have bought Lucky Charms and I never would have known about all of these charms. So I just want to let you know for a limited time only, you can get these in your store. You can always get them on Amazon. Make sure that you snap these up. They stay for a long time. It's Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. I'm going to just eat them. Now look at this. My whole plate of Lucky Charms. You're going to want to get these. And do you know what? Don't give them out for Halloween or trick or treat or give them to the kids. They're much too good for kids. Keep them for yourself. Now I'm going to pick out every Lucky Charm and put it back in a bag. And I'm going to save them for later when I'm watching television. Maybe Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Oh, I do need to tell you this. So in the beginning, though, Lucky Charms had a contest where they gave away 10 boxes of Lucky Charms. It's kind of like the Willy Wonka, kind of, if you are familiar with it, the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory magic uh, golden ticket thing. 10 people won Lucky Charms. That was it. Just the charms. And a few years later, there were 10,000 boxes. Then dropped off. Now you can only get them like this. Even if you work at the Lucky Charm Factory, you can't get them. Because otherwise, those Lucky Charm Factory workers would end up giving them to everybody. And then they would be the only lucky ones. And then other people wouldn't have them. And then they would get mad and then write into uh, General Mills and say, what's your problem? But that didn't happen. Because they keep good control over their Lucky Charms my favorite cereal and when they came out with this bag i don't know how long it's limited to it doesn't say but i do have 25 bags and nobody's getting them get your lucky charms you'll have nothing but luck turn the bit i didn't start out with a lot of luck turn the box this way and then this way. That's how you're supposed to do it. Uh huh. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's why I did that. Eat Lucky Charms. Just the charms. The cereal's delicious too. It's magically delicious. I love the two together, but you could just get the charms. I just needed to tell you. Coffee with Pips Squad. Oh, the Coffee with Pips Squad. Look at that. We have Coffee with Pip Squad. Uh, polo shirts and hoodies and those will be coming out in a couple weeks. I already do have a supply just have to figure out um, how I'm gonna um, get the get these to you. It's only gonna be $12.95 for a nice heavy beautiful polo shirt all embroidered and then the hoodies are gonna be like $19.95 or something like that. I'm giving you my cost and that's gonna include shipping because I want my Pip Squad to get out there. So it says, Pip Squad member. Again, I'll be letting you know how you can get those starting next week. I'm so excited. If you like this video, please subscribe below and hit the bell and I'll keep you posted with new videos that come up each and every week. I really do appreciate it, everybody. And get to the store and get these right now. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you.